going in this raw, man. We're chilling. What's going on, mother truckers? You already know me, man. I'm, we're hanging out today. Uh, the studio's here in the Mecha Chrome shop at the 595. Uh, out of nowhere, I see a booth here that says Ray Logistics. This is not a sponsored video. I do not know these people personally, but I'm talking with these guys, and they're actually pretty cool guys, man. I drink a beer with these guys, you know? And so one of them actually I heard was a DOT guy in the past. And I'm sorry, Mother Whoa. Truckers, but <laughs> I don't hate you, sir. <laughs> but in my 10-year career, I've been so nervous of DOT, and there's so many myths about it. So just for today's video, let's forget everything else. Forget that, uh, you know, uh, now you do work for Ray Logistics, correct? Correct. But maybe just give people some information about, you know, the myth busters that we know about. Start out with, start out with how long were you with DOT? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I was actually with the uh, with the Florida Highway Patrol for um, 25 years. Uh, the last three years of my career, I worked uh, under the commercial vehicle enforcement section. Uh, so I was freshly into it. I had all the latest uh, uh, federal regulations. So um, as far as being nervous, uh, I'm when scared you're now. Getting, I'm, I'm when sweating you get, now. When you get when you get <laughs> stopped, go. it's kind of a. Uh, um, brought on on yourself uh, if you do a good pre uh, trip inspection uh, and you have all your documents uh, you don't run into any of those issues we're not looking uh, for something in specific to always hammer a driver uh, we are looking for a set of items that are given to us in a guideline that we follow so when we're looking um, you know to pick lights when we're looking at a, at a headlight you got a headlight out uh, it could happen that when you checked it, it was good, but then, you know, when we stopped you an hour later, it wasn't. Things happened. Um, things happened. But as far as us specifically targeting a specific kind of truck, kind of color truck, certain company, it's not. Uh, there is no probable cause to have to stop a truck to do an inspection. Uh, we just randomly pick them. Sometimes we're a little more aggressive than others when we have certain blitz and we're looking for certain, uh, certain items. Uh, something like if we're just looking for hazmat trucks for a certain time period um, that's what we'll do we'll have a blitz uh, all of us will get together in one area uh, mostly uh, for example in my case we would go up to 95 in Brevard County up by Cocoa in that area and we would saturate that area for three or four hours uh, just looking for that one specific item whether it's hazmat or for brakes or for anything safety related Whoa! Yeah. What what brings on a blitz? Uh, usually, it's uh, something either sent down from the feds, or we'll see an increase in certain violations. So let's say that all of a sudden we see a, a, an increase in violations where we're having series brake issues. Uh, they're losing; they have a certain amount of percentage of brakes, uh, therefore placing a truck out of service. Uh, we'll see an increase in that in certain areas or uh, they'll realize, hey, you know what, let's just do a, a blitz. And, and, and a blitz isn't necessarily uh, to a certain county in a certain state on a certain highway. Uh, a brake blitz or a hazmat blitz uh, can be conducted nationwide. So uh, it makes it easy because all that is mandated and comes down from the feds. Everybody does it at the same time. So, and mostly it's done on interstates. We won't really be doing certain blitz on what we would call secondary streets, which are your local uh, highways, uh, not interstates. Man, so I, I, I'm, I want the 411 now. So when, when you guys got this blitz going on, right? Yeah. I mean, by law, do you have to post it somewhere so we know? Because I knew an Arizona blitz happened recently, and they said that they're going to be doing hazmat yeah. for on I-8, I-10, and I-19. Yeah. And I put it on my channel yeah. because I saw it on the Highway Patrol uh, Twitter. Yeah. And so I let all my guys know. Yeah. And then all of them didn't go to work that day. Yeah, <laughs> FMCSA uh, usually puts something out, uh, and it'll be you know weeks and months. And every year the blitz kind of run about the, the same time. Uh, some people feel that when we were out there doing certain things, that it was uh, you know it's the end of the month. We all got to meet a quota. We all got to make numbers. We all got to make money for that county or that city. Is that uh, true? None of that is true. Are you sure? I'm 100% sure. Okay, okay. We can't, we can't meet, uh, we can't have set quotas uh, for people's uh, violations.
but we do have a high standard mm. uh, that we have to have and that we act on, uh, or I should say used to act on. Uh, but there is no set quota. There is no, uh, you know what, you know, I need two more uh, inspections to get a toaster. All that's so. All that's, is, so that's not true. No, all that's a myth. They're okay, so on. here's the big one that I'm already thinking of myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the thing that pisses you off? Because one time I went in and then I didn't have all my stuff right, and then you, everyone has it in a book. Yeah. I had mine kind of all on the paper, yeah. and the dude was like shaking his head. Is there some quirks that, as DOT people in general, that we should have as owner operators or truck drivers ready to go so that it makes the process smoother? Yeah. As an owner operator, I can understand being stopped for your first time and not having all your documents in yeah. order. Uh, if you work for a decent company, plug like for Ray Logistics, I'm a safety coordinator with them, and, and my job is to make sure that all our owner operators have all their documents in order. Uh, it's not to say that uh, the officer gets pissed off, but you know that if you're going to get stopped, unless it's like your first stop or something like that, uh, you've been stopped a few times, you know that there are certain documents that are expected. Uh, there are certain regulations that you should have. Uh, you know, a, a big one is guys with fire extinguishers just kind of throwing around. You know that your fire extinguisher has to be secure. Uh, it has to be charged. It's not something that affects us, whether it's not as, as me as an individual, but in an event of an emergency, now you have to look for it. Now you have to, is it charged? Oh, nope, it wasn't charged. I used it last time. So it's to have your things in, in order, your documents in order. Uh, and attitude will also reflect what you get back some guys feel that when you're stopping them it's an inconvenience that you're stopping them they've yeah. got to be somewhere at a certain time and then you put that attitude towards the officer and the officer is just trying to do his job just like you mm -hmm. uh, the smoother things go the faster things happen the quicker you're on your way you know we're not or you know we're not really looking to spend three hours with you on the side of the road because you know, you want to have an attitude, and I want to have an attitude, and nobody gets anything accomplished. What, what's the first thing that comes to mind when uh, you, uh, you have 25 years in the game? If you go, I know that with Blitz, you're looking for certain things. One day might be lights, one thing might be another thing, right? But just say you're doing a normal in inspection, right? Uh, what's the first, like, go-to thing you would probably look at that a lot of drivers overlook, if there's anything? Like, what's the most common violation you get that you oh, yeah. find drivers should know? but don't not having their documents and uh lots of light issues so light issue I because have light it, issues. It, the, the thing with the light issues we can understand if we stopped you uh your pre-trip shows that you did it correctly and everything's good uh we're good with that uh things can happen but when i go back to my car and i'm like oh he's just got a headlight out and i run you through safer and all of a sudden i see that your last three stops you've also had the same headlight out. That tells me you either have a mechanical issue with the truck that you're refusing to fix, or you were told that the headlight was out, you were shown as a violation, and you didn't fix it. You know, you figured, oh, I'm just making it to the rest area, I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna drive during the day, I don't have to fix it, I'll worry about it again. Uh, it's, it's simple things like that that can turn what would be uh, a level three inspection where it's just a driver inspection we turn it into a level two, and now we're looking more in depth. We'll find more things before you know it. Uh, you know, we start looking really, really deep into things, and you could it could lead up to an out of service uh, where you're placed out of service, and now you have to do something either there or have the truck towed to have repairs. Wow. Uh, you know so, what? I got to have you on the show again. I know you won't be around yeah. all the time, but if we could do a segment on just safety yeah. here and there, that way, I know that you're working for Ray Logistics now, yeah. so organically, that's gonna to have to be the plug, but I actually like that because if you guys have a lot of owner operators sure. and you have 25 years in the game, then you know to look on these people's trucks to make sure that they're driving down the road correctly. Correct. And so I, I, I do like that a lot. And here's here's my last question to uh, ask you, and then we're done here because okay. you know I'm I'm thankful. I y'all we have to beg them to be on the show, okay? <laughs> you know, no. DOT man, they don't they don't play. We gotta keep it real here, but. If I throw out your name in Florida, 
Can I, can I possibly, you know what I'm saying? Like, what was your last name again, sir? I heard Hector. What was well, it? Well, here's the thing. You're going to have a lot in of cousins some places, after this video, Hector. I am loved. In others, not as much. So be careful where you place that name. Oh, I love it. I love it. You know, we're, we're going to do a segment two. Uh, you know, I thank you all. Um, we're just hanging out today. Our pleasure, man. You know, uh, it's one of those things at the end of the day, the Asia Mind Show. We're just about transparency and just helping people out with what they can. You know what I mean? And so I know these guys don't talk a lot, but I always got my co-host, Miguel. A lot of people were wondering, where the hell this pretty boy come from? This is a great friend of mine. I got my guy, Brian, here. Uh, you know, I just met him today. But, man, I drink a beer with you, man. You know what I'm saying? All day. All day, man. You know? We're, we're just, hey, thanks for getting him over here. From the, we're all from family the over here. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Thanks for making it comfortable. On the show. Not a problem, guys. Hey, that's all appreciate it is, you being on the show, Hector. It's a pleasure yeah. to get it done. No, that's it, man. We're good to go. All right, man. Yeah. Take care. Yeah, yeah. We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Thank you.